praise creation. I want to learn another interesting bag. This one is a sort of box. Yeah, something like a box, a box bag. The items we are going to use, yeah, we have a sugar bead. I'm using black and white. This is the handle that I'll be using. This is made of plastic. There are several types. My lining, I'll line my bag. This is a thread that I'll use to sew the bag. I'll use it with the size 3.5. That's a fishing line. That's what I'm going to use to do the sewing. And I'll be using the size 0.6 to do the weaving. The pen is for the marking of the lining and my scissors. Let's get started. Just like we always do, we are starting with four beads and I'll weave them separately. That's the front, the back, the base, the side. After that, then I'll join the pieces together to form the back. I like weaving it in pieces because the bag is big so if you weave it once and for all there are lots of distraction If you are new to my channel, you are welcome. If you are an old subscriber, you are welcome to today's video. Then I'll continue with my black bead. I'm doing it box box. So I'm weaving in five. One, two, three, four, five.
<clears throat> As I said earlier on, we are weaving in five. So we will build up so it's also five, then we stretch the color. As you are weaving, then you'll be stretching out the fashion line so that the bead will be hard. Because when it's flabby, it will not make it nice. We are done weaving our mat. So, as I said earlier on, it's box box. So, you weave the black, continue with white in that order. So, we are done. I told you we are weaving in parts. I'm coming to weave the side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So with the side, we are going to weave, um, I'm making the base seven. So I'll weave it five by 14. So let me put this aside. So with that one, you would pick one black, one white, one black, one white you use that one to do the cross threading making a check check so that one you pick one white one black I'm turning. Wow. 
when you continue, you pick and black. Then two white. So you will start with the white, black, then And you pick one white, one black, in that order. So this is what we are going to do. After that, then we will join the pieces together. Now uh, with the base, I uh, will make all black. We yeah, are close. So this is the side. We are weaving two of them. That's fourteen by five. So this is a two. Then we have our main bar, the front view, and the back view. Then we have the base. That one I weave with all black. So this is how the arrangements will look like. I'm using black to do the joining. So we are just using one bead to do the joining. We are done closing the side. I'm on this part.
So this is what we have after joining them. We are coming to face the side. So we, we are starting from the top. I'm facing this side, then I'll later join the other side. So it's the same process. You use 11B to do the locket. So we add the base to the main mats then there's the side i've added it so we are coming to fold it So this is what we get. So this is what we have. We join this side already, so it level with this side. So we are picking it from here. Then you use our white bead to do the locking. see the base the side I mean first uh, hand you are picking from the fourth line One, one, you do your cross threading. Thread through. You pick one bead. 
to do that fudge trade. Then you find see Then we fix it to this side. So you would fix one, one, one here, one there. Then we, we, we are fixing it to. So this is how it looks like. I repeat it for this side. We are done fixing the handles. We are now coming to line the inside. This is how the measurement. With this, we you cut and join the pieces together. So you mark this side. Then you would mark the other end. Mm. I want to cut two of this. We are done cutting the pieces. This is one side, another side, the sides, then the base. So in sewing, you first of all join the base, then you join one just like how we join the backs before you sew the sides together. So I'm going to sew it after that. I'll come and show you how to fix it in the back. We are done sewing the lining. So you see that is exactly like the way we did for the bead. You cut it separately then join the pieces together. So that's how it will be. You fold the tip inside. So that the thread will not be removed. That's the essence of folding it inside. And the back goes in. Where we have the sense. I'm then coming to 
show you how to do the sewing. You start from the where the two cloth meet. That's the corner by this. So I want to hide my knot. Then you prick from the corner of the bead. You then sew it or seal it all round. goes in inside out All right, we are done sewing the lining. So after everything, this is how our lining looks like. Hope you really enjoy our video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and share for others to also benefit. And leave your comments below. Thank you. Bye bye.